Claremont County Domestic Relations Judge Michael Voris has been on the bench at Domestic Relations Court for 24 years. Before that, he was also on the bench in another court in Claremont County for four years. Joining us today is Judge Michael Voris. Now, Judge, you are retiring at the end of 2010 after 28 years. Does it seem like that long on the bench? Well, occasionally it does, but mostly no. I've been having a good time. It's been a terrific experience, and I want to thank the public for allowing me to, that honor of being able to serve them in that capacity. Judge, talk to us a little bit about some of the changes you've seen, and you must have seen a lot of them in all those years. Oh, absolutely. When I got on the court in uh, uh, 1987, it was a brand new court, so I'm the first separately elected domestic relations judge, so I inherited maybe three or four people, and the staff has grown to about 15 or 16 over that time because of the tremendous growth, especially in the late 90s and early part of this century. It's slacked off a little the last two or three years, probably partly because of the economy, although the unfortunately civil domestic violence cases have not, but the changes have been just amazing. We inherited about 2,000 cases and uh, we had to deal with those and then uh, it's just been amazing how the, the county has changed that much. And this court came at about the right time because I think they there were so many, which is why it was created, because they, they just didn't get the adequate time they needed mm -hmm. for families in trouble. Now you've really done a lot to try to help both the families from the parents' perspective and also from the children's perspective. A couple of very important programs we need to talk about and collaborations with Beach Acres. Talk to us a little bit about those. Oh yeah, Beach Acres Parenting uh, Group has been just wonderful. I knew about them from being a practicing attorney, so we started an educational program which requires all parents with children to attend for a couple hours uh, when they file for divorce and it's contested. So. Uh, there were only two or three in the country at the time, I understand from them, and uh, now it's almost every court has that. But we've added a couple of programs which are kind of unique. Uh, in 2001, I think it was, or a little before, we started a, we called it then Kids, Kids in Difficult Situations. Uh, it's called Families in Conflict. We put almost 300 families through and maybe uh, almost 600 children have gone through that time and that's resolved a lot of what would otherwise be an ugly divorce trial. And that really has bothered you, hasn't it? Oh yes, I came on the court with the, uh, kind of with a mission on a mission from my practice. I did a lot of family law cases and uh, uh, I thought it, there, there's a way, I'd like to try to see if a uh, family court, domestic relations court could be run uh, in this positive a way. In fact, someone had said to me, Judge, are you going to run a divorce mill or are you going to do something to help those people? And that actually I reflected on and that's when part of the impetus to start the programs that I've started. The kids uh, program now, Families in Conflict, has been terrific. It's uh, been copied by many other courts. With, that's with Beach Acres and uh, that, that is a wonderful program. And then the recently, uh, a few years ago, about 06, uh, we started a uh, back on track program for the fathers who are delinquent in child support and we've had about a 60 percent success rate which means they haven't been back to court which with these families in trouble uh, they need a lot of attention and uh, I started these various forms of mediation all of these have been with Beach Acres the uh, back of uh, the families in the or the back on track program excuse me has uh, is done with Beach Acres, Child Support, the court, and uh, University of Cincinnati has helped out with that. After, after 28 years on the bench, how do you view retirement? What are you going to do? Well, that's a good question. I've given a lot of thought to that. And uh, from thinking, uh, you know, I'll be 73 in December, the month I retire, and somebody said to me, why should you do anything? You know, you're <laughs> not 60, but I'm kind of hoping there'll be, you know, out of the seven days w a week, I'm hoping six of them will be like Saturdays <laughs> and one Sunday, but <laughs> seriously plan to do a lot of reading. I've uh, got a lot of reading. I love to read and uh, some, some yard work and uh, that kind of thing, maybe a little travel. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I have mixed feelings, of course, because my staff uh, that I've hired over the years 
some of whom have been with me 15 or 20 years, they have been wonderful. That They make me look good. That's, They're like a family, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. That'll be the hardest part to leave. Other than that, I'm uh, anticipating positively going into the golden years. Judge, I wonder, when, when people walk out of your court, after being in your court, after going through some of these programs, what do you want them to say about you? Well, uh, maybe it's something like a, a young gentleman that had been with the YWCA advocacy program on protection orders, and he's talked to me. I, I hardly knew him because I don't get out front where the, uh, he usually sits, and uh, I got talking to him. Uh, he was leaving to go somewhere else, and he said, Judge, of all the courts, and I've worked in several, yours is the most user-friendly, positive place that I've worked, and I appreciate it. And that, I hope, and I hope the parents and the children later on reflect back that if they went through one of the mediation programs that it was, you know, maybe a lot less stressful in uh, trying to readjust into the post-divorce situation. What advice will you give the judge that follows you? Well, <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh, just try to keep a positive attitude, uh, and I think she plans to, to keep uh, those programs going and uh, not get too discouraged. There's times that some of the uh, less than pleasant cases are hard to deal with and try not to take them home with you. I, I was gonna say that's probably one of the harder things, isn't it, to leave it at Absolutely. work? Absolutely. Judge Michael Voris, thank you so much for, for being with us today and thank you for all you've done in Claremont County. Well, I appreciate it, Kathy. Thank you very much. This is Claremont County Today.